Hi, this is Poonam Sagar of IndoIndians.com and today I'm in conversation with Sanaya Gurnamal, who is the founder of Third Eye Wellness Center in Manila. Hi, Sanaya. Hi, Poonam. How it's so lovely to talk to you. I know you're soon going to be in Jakarta for a healing session, talk, instructions, sessions, yes. etc. Yes, that's absolutely correct. I'll be down on March 30th. And I'll be in town for two weeks. I'll be doing um, some courses, as you said, like I'm, I'm teaching. And I have one-on-one -on -one healing sessions as well as an, a free awareness talk that everyone's invited to attend. Uh, this was the first time I heard of Theta Healing. Okay. So first, can I ask you to give us a little uh, information on your background, who you are, how did you start? Okay, great. Um, basically, Poonam, I do not come back, come from a spiritual background. Okay. I'm actually somebody who grew up in Japan. I uh, went to college in the US. I went to University of Pennsylvania. So I went to a very competitive school. You know, I went and worked in New York City for a couple of years. Um, I uh, worked for a company called Saks Fifth Avenue and I moved to Dubai where I also had my own business. So um, I had a major turning point in my life about 10, 12 years ago, and um, that is what changed my entire life course. Oh. So here I was someone who um, was very much career oriented. I thought life was about being successful, you know, finding the right life partner, having children, and you know, that was it. That was the secret to a happy life. Um, little did I know that there was a whole world of other things out there, and it was through um, a very synchronistic experience where uh, out of curiosity I went in for an awareness talk just like the one I'm giving and ended up doing a one-on-one -on -one healing session with the person who gave the talk yeah. and in a one-hour healing session I found that lactose intolerance which is something I was suffering from for eight years essentially got healed and disappeared in one hour which completely blew my mind because I'd been taking pills um, every time I would uh, take any kind of dairy. Okay, and you know, lactose intolerance is not a major life-threatening issue of any sort, but for me, it was such a big deal. I was in my early 20s and I just could not understand how a one-hour healing session could get rid of something that I'd been living with for eight years. Mm -hmm. And that started my search. So I, um, I actually, spent nights, uh, literally out of excitement, staying up all night, just Googling everything I could find on healing, wellness, spirituality. And I found out that this is not, you know, some mumbo jumbo, that there's actually a truth to it, mm -hmm. that there are people all over the world who, um, who see, you know, alternative healers and who talk about other ways of um, healing from different kinds of mental, physical, and uh, emotional conditions, and it works. So I did, you know, my due diligence. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of reading, um, and I started to attend workshops. So I was kind of like a workshop junkie. Mm. Anything that came to Dubai, and you know, Dubai became the hub of all things spiritual and wellness and well-being um, about 10, 10, 12 years ago. So it was just, you know, the right timing as well. There was a massive outpouring of um, people from all over the world coming down to Dubai and, and talking about the same kind of thing. This is also the time where you may have heard of the concept of the secret, the law of attraction. You know, so worldwide, there was also some kind of um, shift. consciousness, some shift, some awakening. And suddenly, you know, people were, were speaking a common language and it had a lot to do with this new age spirituality, self-empowerment, self-love, you know, all these things that to me up until that point were quite foreign um, as a concept. But I took to it right away because it just felt right and I felt very, very driven and passionate about it. And before I knew it, um, I, I was actually running a successful jewelry business of my own. And um, I was also employed by uh, one of the top retail conglomerates in the Middle East. And I literally one day uh, walked out and said, okay, I am, you know, I'm doing great. I'm at the pinnacle of my, my career, but this is where I want to make a complete change. And I quit to be a healer. Wow. Okay, from a very cushy, well-paying, you know, well-routed um, career. And I said, I'm done. 
all I want to do is, is heal and help people because that is all I think about. That is all I spend my time doing. So why not make it, you know, an everyday thing? And um, it was that big leap of faith that I took that um, got me within about five to six months to open a healing center in Dubai. It was called the, the Third Eye Center. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in 2008. And from that point forward, I never looked back. You know, it was just growing. Um, I ended up getting married and moving to Manila, Philippines. And um, from here, I opened a much bigger wellness center. And, um, and I've been doing this now for more than a decade. Wow. And it's, yeah, it's literally what um, gets me excited every day is to, is to talk about healing, is to heal other people, is to learn more and to share um, all the amazing things that have happened to me when I got on this path. So, um, so this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So what is Theta Healing? Okay, so Theta Healing is a, um, it's a spiritual healing technique. Though um, a lot of the methodology has a lot of scientific um, research and, and component into it, um, one of the things I can, I can uh, give you as, a, as an example is the theta healing technique is conducted in a theta brainwave. Okay, so that's a much slower brainwave. So when you and I meditate, we take our brain from a beta waking state to a much more, um, much more relaxed and calmer uh, alpha brainwave state. So even healing techniques like Reiki, um, there are some other ones like pranic healing. They all take place in a much more relaxed, meditative alpha brainwave. What now, is theta, the brainwave when you're sleeping? When you're sleeping, it's actually theta. Okay. So alpha is between waking and sleeping. And theta is actually a very deep brainwave, which most of us only get to at, in, at, a, at a sleep state. Mm -hmm. okay. But with the theta healing technique, you're basically taught how to slow down your brainwaves enough that you are sleeping, but you're not. And the only difference is um, that you're awake while accessing the subconscious mind. Because normally you're sleeping in a subconscious mind. So you're sleeping with your eyes open. You're basically, you know, I mean, you're completely... <laughs> Sorry, it what's just kind of blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a bit strange, but in actuality, you are in a very, very uh, enhanced state of consciousness. Okay akin to being asleep except you're not okay and what happens is in that brain wave you can essentially break through um, the limitations of our mind and our body okay and you can access the subconscious mental space and you can um, go and connect to universal energies or what we call is the God energy and through that communion you are essentially able to create physical emotional um, and uh, essentially any kind of healing on the human body and mind. So as a Theta healer, you um, bring your Healy into that state through meditation? I'm able to access the healing through that state, allowing me to create instant changes on the level of the physical body, right down to the DNA and the cells. So how long does a session take? One hour, like you mentioned earlier? Normally about 45 minutes to an hour um, is an average session time for me. Sometimes, of course, you know, there's an up and down of 30 minutes. But um, the process is very quick. And um, my clients will all attest to the fact that you walk out of a one hour session and things have just changed immediately. You feel lighter, you feel different. Your perspective may have shifted dramatically. Suddenly the way you look at the same situation in your life mm -hmm. has kind of done a 180 degree turn. I and see. that instantly changes your behavior. Because when you think about a situation differently, then you behave also very differently from how you may have originally uh, been behaving with that situation. So is and that this, actually, sorry, sorry to interrupt, I'm just curious. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, does this happen only when you have an issue, a condition, or is it some, a daily practice? Actually, uh, Theta Healing is something that most of my students take for their own self-development and growth. Um, it's as, uh, as practical and friendly as, you know, today I, I had a bad day and I am so irritable and I'm just going to go into the Theta state and I'm going to 
let that go and I'm going to download myself with uh, positive feelings and literally in the instant I'm back to my normal self yes. and those feelings of irritation and anger or whatever may have come up in that moment are gone so you, you can use you've it you also mentioned that, about spiritual and connected to God so is this religion specific or is it agnostic it's actually um, it's actually what we call it spiritual because it's not based in any one religion Okay, so anybody from any religious background can come into Theta Healing and not feel threatened mm -hmm. that they are, for example, in conflict with their own religion. Right. Because Theta Healing is a basis by which we can practice our religion better. Okay, okay. Okay, so it, it's a way of basically bringing yourself closer to God or feeling more aligned with the idea of, um, of being one with the creator or with the universe or being much more aligned with who you are in your life purpose. Right. And um, I noticed that you mentioned Reiki and pranic healing. Is it very different? It's actually quite different. Um, I'm personally a Reiki practitioner. I've done pranic. I've literally, you know, done everything you could possibly imagine. Um, because as I mentioned, I started off being a workshop junkie. I was on a search and I had to know everything. And um, pity healing is one of the uh, last things I actually encountered and kind of just really stuck there. The mm. reason being, um, for me, Theta Healing is very, uh, very much mind-body energy. It's everything, you know. So um, every healing technique has its place and every healing technique is successful at what it does. But for me, with Theta Healing, I can use it to practice any other technique much better. I see. So if for people like us who have no experience with um, healing or theta healing or any other energy healing technique, is there any tips or any ideas that we could explore? Absolutely. Um, theta healing actually um, teaches you how to be much more aware and mindful of your thoughts, of your words, um, of your behaviors. So I think uh, simple things like watching your language mm -hmm. makes a big difference for example you probably just like anybody else catch yourself saying things like oh i can't afford that or that's too expensive mm -hmm. or oh my god i put on weight so we constantly are saying negative things to ourselves and we, we don't even realize that it's become a part of our life and one of the first things that you learn in the theta healing class is how important it is to monitor your your thoughts and to change your language. So for example, never say things like, I don't have enough, or I can't afford it, or it's too expensive. You have to change your mindset and say things like, oh, there's plenty. I have plenty of energy. <laughs> don't say things like, I'm tired, because that's just gonna make you more tired. Instead, say, you know what? I have plenty of energy. Oh, wow. <laughs> or they need. You Positive know, so affirmations. <laughs> simple things like changing what you're saying every single day actually affects your mindset and draws in entirely different experiences to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sanaya. That was You're welcome. very nice. And I look forward to seeing you in Jakarta and all the best with your sessions here. Thank you so, so much, Poonam. Thank I you look forward all. To you. See you in okay. Jakarta. And bye. this is Poonam saying bye. Bye. See you later.